The hooks I'm using today are Risen Fly's Barbless Jig Hook in size 14. And I'm also pairing a tungsten slotted bead with it. Now I usually use Risen's, but I was out of that size I needed. The easiest way to add a bead to a hook is to put the bead in your hand and then put the hook through it. With slotted beads and jig hooks, you want to make sure it's oriented in the right direction. With this bead, there is a flat side and a rounded side in the slot, and this one wants the rounded side upward to seat properly. So make sure it's all the way down and seated. For added weight, I'm going to add a .010 size lead wire. 10 or so wraps is sufficient. Now to keep the lead from moving, add a drop of super glue behind it and push it up against the tungsten bead. For thread, I'm using Viva's 6 Ot in red to give it a sort of hot spot, but you could use a more natural thread like brown or even black or go with a really bright hot spot with neon colors like this. Start your thread behind the lead wraps, and then go up over the lead and back down to the bend of the hook. Now we need some fur from a hair's mask. It's called a hair's ear because you get the fur from the ear of the hair. However, I like the look of the hair right here. Trim off a small little section, and then prepare it by pulling out all the under fur. Tie in this clump, sticking out about a half to three quarters of a hook shank length from the back. Bring your thread up to just behind the lead wraps, and then trim off the waist. Now we need some wire. I like medium gold wire for this size fly. Attach the wire on the side of the hook, but pull it back so it starts just behind the lead wraps. Tie it down tight and bring your thread back to the start of the tail. Then put your bottom holder up and out of the way with a hair clip. Now you want some dubbing, and I like the bag stuff instead of making it from the hair's mask. This hair's ear dubbing has some guard hairs mixed in which adds to the bugginess of this fly. Make a tight and tapered noodle, and then wind this noodle with touching wraps up the hook shank and make a nice tapered abdomen on the fly. If you need to add some more dubbing, then do so. You want to bring it up to about two-thirds the way up the hook. Now wind on the wire with even and spaced wraps up the hook shank to create a rib. Capture the wire when you reach the bead, and then helicopter it off clean. Now we need some flash. This saltwater size flash of boo works perfectly. Cut off a single strand and then tie it in directly on top of the fly. Make sure it's even and directly on top, as if it's not, it will get tied in on the wrong angle. For the thorax of the fly, we will use some strung peacock. Two strands will work. I like putting some hackle pliers on the bottom and then cutting the fragile tips off even. And then tie them in, back to the start of the dubbing abdomen and then bring your thread forward. Now twist the hurl and make a cord, and then wrap it with touching wraps to form the flashy thorax on the fly. Tie it off and trim off the waist. Now bring the flash up and over the hurl and create a flashy wing case. Then capture it and trim off the waist as well. Now we need a soft hackle feather. Partridge, hen saddle, and many other feathers can be used for this. And I'm using hen saddle. To prepare the feather, strip off all the fuzzies. And then pull back the fibers from the tip like so. Trim off the tip so there's a small tie-in point, and then with the curve of the feather facing rearward, tie that feather in at the tip. Now grab the stem with some hackle pliers, and while stroking the fibers rearward, make a couple wraps. One to two is all you're gonna get with this, but it is enough to make a nice soft hackle collar. Now capture the feather and trim or snap it off. You can then whip finish your fly, but because I don't wanna get head cement on the soft hackle, I will paint some head cement onto the thread before whip finish. And there we have it, a simple jigged guide's choice hair's ear. These work really great for swinging and nymphing through the spring and summer months. They do a great job at mimicking a caddis as you can see when it's wet. Well, as you might have noticed, I use a lot of products by Risen. Not only their high quality barbless hooks, but also their rods and reels. So give them a look at www.risenfly.com and enter the promo code McFly at checkout for 15% off. Anyway, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.